Hello, my name is John and welcome to my puppet shop. I have a puppet shop in my basement. Pretty cool. Um, as we all know, we're all inside a little bit more than normal and I've gone a little crazy and I need to make something. So I thought I'd invite you to come make something with me on how do you do? How do you do? Are you doing pretty good? I hope so. I hope you feel like making a craft because today we're going to make a puppet. I thought it would be fun to make a puppet out of something I have in my house that you might have in your house, and it is a toothbrush puppet. Ew. So, here's what you need. You need a toothbrush. I tend to have some extra toothbrushes. Um, if you don't, um, these are some toothbrushes that are a bit older. I boiled them to make them a little sanitized, and uh, if you do want to boil a toothbrush, to make sure it's not dirty. These are a bit more, they're silicone brushes, so they did really good. These ones that look more like a hard plastic, they kind of melted a little bit. So make sure you have an adult to help you with this process. I think the melted ones are kind of cool because they might make a fun kind of expression when we're done. So as they started to kind of bend, I took them out of the boiling water into cold water and that made them hard again. So you need toothbrush. You need, hopefully, a hot glue gun or something to make eyes out of. Puppet eyes. Puppet eyes, I've got a lot of puppets, are made out of all sorts of things. One of the most famous things that you make puppet eyes out of are ping pong balls. Can you think of maybe a puppet that you've seen on TV or in a movie that has these kind of eyes? The Muppets or Sesame Street. Almost all of them are ping pongs. I make eyes out of all sorts of things. So you can scour your house. I make them out of ping pongs, jumbo ping pongs. You can buy wiggly eyes. Um, for the main stage, I make these big plastic eyes. I'll show you how I make those another time. But all of the eyes that I have, um, I thought were a little, a little big for a toothbrush puppet. So I figured, how do we make a pair of puppet eyes that are the right size for a toothbrush? Let me show you how. Let's make some eyeballs. So these are little eyeballs that I made. These were my test eyeballs. I like the size of them for the toothbrush and they're made out of two drops of hot glue. You're gonna want an adult to help with this. Um, and underneath my hot glue gun is my silicone mat. This is a mat that when hot glue goes onto here, it won't stick. So when I'm making big projects with hot glue, I can just keep taking my messy, unused hot glue away. But it's also a perfect place to put dots of hot glue. And when they're dry, you can pick them up. If you don't have a hot glue pad, um, any silicone mat will do. You might have one in your kitchen for baking cookies on. Um, so my hot glue gun is warming up. What we're gonna need is our hot glue, some white paint. I have a couple different types of paint. This is a paint marker. I use these because these are just an acrylic paint. Those will make our eyes go white. You also can use in a safe, ventilated spot, spray paint. But if you have any type of white paint, it'll help you make these turn white. So our hot glue gun is hot and ready. I'm gonna make a couple pairs of eyes. You're just gonna make little dots of glue. They can be different sizes. You don't wanna to go too big. I'm just gonna give myself a couple different pairs because then I can pick the ones I like the best. We will let those dry. And when they're all dry and not hot, like these ones, they'll just pop right off our silicone mat. On this one, I wanted to make a little bow tie. So as those dry, let's make some bow tie or bows or some other costume elements for our toothbrush. I bet you have tape in your house, but I'm gonna show you to make a scotch tape bow tie. You will need some scissors and you'll need some tape and maybe a marker. Um, let's make a red one. So to do this, I'm gonna take a little bit of tape and I'm going to fold it in on itself so it's not sticky anymore. So I basically have a ribbon, just like that. That looks like it's about a little over two inches long. And now what I'm gonna do is fold it in half again. And I'm gonna hold on to the fold part right here. Then I'm gonna cut the shape of a bow tie, which is really just a triangle. Let's see, let's go that way but I'm not gonna make it go to a point like a normal triangle. I'm going to leave um, where the point normally would be uh, flat. That way, when it's open, you have a bow tie shape. Now, bow ties tend to have a little tie in the middle, and then you have the, the bow. So I'm gonna take another piece of tape. This can be a little tricky, but I'm going to just use 
rip it because I want a smaller piece. And I'm going to wrap that around the center. Get rid of the extra bit that I don't need. And that puts a little bow piece in the middle, like that. Now I've got so many Sharpies and different types of markers. If you have a pencil, um, I think a marker works best, but I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm just gonna give it, I'm gonna outline it a little bit. Let me get a little piece of paper so you can see this better. Take a sticky note. Great. And I'm going to outline the outside of it. And if I just take a Sharpie and just kind of trace the outside, it's gonna put a little line on the outside edge of my tape bow tie. So we'll see it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just do a line on either end of the bow, just so it reads a little bit more. And then I think I like a polka dot tie, so I'm gonna throw a few dots on there. Now this could be a bow tie, maybe this will be a bow that goes in the hair, but that will be a little bow tie for our toothbrush puppet. So let's set that aside in a safe place and let's check on our hot glue. So hot glue takes about, I would say five minutes, 10 minutes to be safe to make sure it's dry. Um, these are dry. They feel a little bit like if I pushed on them, they might squish, so I think they need a little bit more time. But when they are dry, you can just lift them up. They kind of look like, um, I think they look like marbles or bubbles. So let's paint our eyeballs. I grabbed a little piece of black foam, just so you can see this a little bit better on the camera. Um, but normally when I paint, you can see that my table, I paint on it because it's a painting surface. It's okay if I get paint on it. But if you have another piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, something that it's okay, because I think when we paint these, paint's gonna get on it and around it. I don't wanna make too big of a mess. So I'm gonna take my eyes and we're gonna do this two different ways. I'm gonna paint some by hand and then I might run outside and spray paint some because you might have spray paint in your house. Um, so we'll paint the ones here with a brush and some paint, and we'll do the ones on here outside with some spray paint. So I have, this is a paint marker. I use these all the time, but really it's just, there's white paint in there. Um, and I'm gonna take a little dish, uh, there, and untwist this and pour some of the paint out. I'm gonna grab a little brush. And we're just gonna paint on top of our eyes. Now, hot glue is kind of what I would say it's soft and glossy, it's pretty slick. So that means my brush strokes, we're gonna see them. But I think if we do this a few times, a few coats, it'll look really solid. I'm having to paint very, very soft. They move around like hockey pucks. Let's let those dry and we'll come back and do another coat. I'm gonna take these outside real quick and spray paint them. I'll be right back. So we have our toothbrush. We could use some boa. This is boa. I use these on puppets all the time. They're really fun because even when they're moving a little bit, they just give puppets a little bit of what we call extra life. It feels a little bit alive. So if you have some boa, what I did for the first puppet I made is I just cut off a tiny little bit uh, and then got rid of any stragglers. You could use a little bit of boa on the top. Let's look at some other options. You could use Craft foam. This is craft foam. You get this at the craft store. Um, this is actually, you can buy it in sheets. This is a little visor I think I got at the dollar store. Um, you may have some of this in your house. Um, what's fun is it cuts with scissors really well. So let's say maybe we want to make this. Let's see. 
glue a shape. That would be a large hairdo, which I kind of like. But maybe to make it make it look more like hair, I'm gonna cut little strands of hair. Like this. If you saw Elephant and Piggy at Northwest Children's Theater, this is what the squirrels and piggies hair is made out of. Some fun things you can do with craft phone if you have a hot gun, which is kind of like um, a blow dryer, except extra, extra, extra hot. This curls is how we get the curls on the headpiece of the elephant and piggy. There. Got some fun hair. Oh, that's cool. I feel like this is a little big for my toothbrush, so I'm gonna make what I'm thinking I could glue it there. Some hair. Looks like it's got some sideburns. So we could make some craft foam hair. You could do the same thing with paper. Here's a scrap of paper. I actually don't have a lot of colorful paper in my puppet shop, which is bizarre, because I don't use paper a lot to make my puppets. Um, but paper is a wonderful thing to make puppets with. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go, this is paper from an envelope. You can see it used to be an envelope. Um, I like that it's folded in half. So I think I'm gonna use, we're gonna make some bangs for a puppet. Almost like you would dress a person or a doll. I keep, when I make, we're basically making the costuming for our puppet which includes its hair. And I always keep my puppet handy because I'm gonna make it fit just how I want. I'm gonna do that with some bangs and then let's give it kind of Now, just like the foam, you can curl paper really easily. I use a pencil. And let's curl some of this. Make it a little bit more like crazy hair. Maybe not all of them. As you think you want to, maybe you can do some of the bangs. I think this needs to go a little higher up here. Yeah. It's kind of a fun little hairdo. So that's some paper hair, foam hair, feather hair. I also have in my shop a bunch of pom poms. You may have some pom poms in your craft drawer where you keep the craft stuff. I thought we could maybe make something out of pom-poms. I think I want all the same color. I'm gonna do some sorting. Hold on. All right, let's see. I got some orange pom-poms. Thought maybe we could make orange hair. Maybe if I stacked it up. Made kind of a funny little hairdo. So really, anything can be hair. Uh, anything you have in your in your house or anything that your parents will let you cut up and hot glue or stick to your toothbrush. If you have a cat, beware of these. They'll become a toy quite quickly. Now let's talk about the eyeballs. So these are some painted ones. These ones I did with the brush and the wet paint. These I went and spray painted and they all feel dry. So now the black dot that goes in your eye, well, not in your eye, in your puppet's eye, um, so the dots are really what are gonna make it come to life. It's really gonna make it, give it some focus, make it look like it's looking at something. Um, you can make the pupil out of all sorts of things, just like the eyeballs you can make out of all sorts of things. With the starlings at the theater, what I use most of the time are these little dots. These are dot stickers. These are for the bottom of chairs. They don't scrape 
uh, your floor. And they come in different sizes. These are big Velcro dots, if I had a really big eyeball. These are some other Velcro ones. So I use these a lot of the time. Maybe we'll try a pair of those. Um, but like I said, these eyeballs are pretty small. So we need something smaller. This is something I have in my puppet shop. These are from puppetpelts.com, one of my favorite places to buy puppet supplies. And they sell eyeball stickers. Now I don't think you have these in your house. So the other thing that would work great is either a black marker or a little bit of black paint. So we're gonna try a couple different versions. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do on the main stage with the starlings. I take a pin and I'm gonna show you how I use these kinds that I get pre-bought. They're so small that what I use is, this is a pin for costumes, but I put the dot on the pin and that helps me place it where I want it to go. Since these eyes are a little bit bigger, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my bigger dots. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be very wide-eyed. Let's do these ones, because you could also just draw on little circles. Trying I like them to be the same size, but they don't have to be. The fun thing about where you put the dot is gonna give it a different expression or a different look. And then let's do one with a drop of paint. See how that works. I'm gonna get a smaller brush. And I have the same thing. This is just my acrylic paint, but in a marker. And I'm gonna put that in a little tray. And I think if I get quite a bit of paint, on my brush and just do a little, almost like a drop of paint. Not too much because it might run. All right, let's put some eyes on our toothbrushes. So this is the first one we started making. It's got the red bow tie we made out of tape. Um, we made all different types of hair. I'm gonna do another feather one because that's what I have and I like them. Um, so I'm gonna put a little hot glue on the back of my toothbrush, just like this and plop my hair on there, like so. Boop, 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 boop. And then it's ready for the eyes. So it's nice that we have some options. I think I'm gonna look at my different options. I think I'm gonna try the ones that we used the marker on. So there's a couple different ways to go. It needs something to glue to. So I was using the top parts of the bristle. I think that works really well. So I'm gonna put a little hot glue on the top here. And very carefully, stick one eye there, but maybe one at a time, maybe together like this. They might even wiggle a little bit because they're on the bristles. Oh, I like that. Give the hot glue a moment to dry. Now we have two friends, they can do a dance number. Um, so now I'm gonna make a few more um, and they're ready to do a puppet show, which is the best part. So basically toothbrush, I use some tape for a bow tie, or you can use paper or something else to give it a little bit of costuming or clothing. We made our eyeballs out of hot glue and we painted them and put dots on them. And then you use something for hair and make it look a little bit different. You could use feathers. You can use all sorts of things. So I'm gonna make a few more with some different stuff and then we'll have a puppet show, yay!